Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. In this episode, I have prepared a quiz to determine which era you would belong to in the Star Wars universe. If you're enjoying the videos, please give them a like, share, and subscribe to the channel so I can continue making them for you. Now, before we begin, grab a pen and paper or something to keep track of your answers and scores. After each question, select one response that aligns with how you choose to be in the Star Wars universe. It will then reveal how many points each response is worth, add that number to your tally. At the end, we'll add up all the points from the questions to determine which result you got. Alright, let's begin. Question 1. Your previous master's master asks you to join the dark side with him. You must join me, Obi-Wan. And together, we will destroy the Sith. Do you A. Decline and choose to fight him. You must rid the galaxy of the dark side. B. Accept his offer. You want to know more about the Force. C. Listen to his offer. If he was your master's master, he must be wise. D. Respectfully decline. You will not stray from the light. E. Kill him. You already know the dark side of the Force. Question 2. A Jedi approaches you to help him on his mission. You must learn the ways of the Force, if you're to come with me to Alderaan. Do you A. Inquire further, you need to know more if you will agree to help. B. Disagree, you cannot get involved, you have work to do. C. Agree, you will do anything to help a Jedi. D. Agree to help, but only for a price. E. Agree, but secretly notify the Empire of his presence. Question 3. Your master tells you to stay away from danger and stay hidden. Hey, wait for me! Anakin, stay where you are. We'll be safe there. But I... Do you... A. Follow what he says. You cannot disobey him. B. Go towards the action anyways. Hopefully he can save you if you get into trouble. C. Draw the enemy's attention to him. He should not have tried to keep you hidden. D. Run away the first chance you get. This lifestyle is not for you. E. Refuse to listen. Do what you can to help him, even if it means stealing a ship. Question 4. Your friend has been infected by a brain worm and asks you to kill them. Kill me! Please! A. Do nothing. You are too conflicted to make a decision. B. Refuse to kill them. You cannot do that. C. Mercifully agree. You don't want to do it, though. D. Leave them alone to suffer. E. Gladly kill them without hesitation. Question 5. You are thrown into a pit with a ferocious beast. Do you A. Cut off its arm and let it suffer. It never should have crossed you. B. Hide and wait for the beast to lose interest, then make your escape quietly. C. Defend yourself if necessary. You do not want to be this thing's dinner. D. Try to befriend the beast. Maybe it's just misunderstood. E. Slay the beast. Its master is next. Question 6. Your master tells you to stay away from a dark-sided cave, but it could tell you something about your past. Do you A. Rid yourself of this master. If he doesn't want you to know about your past, he is a problem. B. Do what you want. You will not be influenced by anyone. C. 
Approach the cave with caution. If you're careful, you can avoid the dark side and learn about your past. D. Delve into the dark side of cave. Learning about your past is more important than your master. E. Stay away from the cave. You do not want to be tempted by the dark side. Question 7. Your mother is captured by the sand people and dies in the process. Do you? A. Leave the sand people alone. You don't want to dwell on this any longer. B. Rejoice her life and forgive the sand people. It's what she would have wanted. C. Kill all the sand people, even the innocent women and children. D. Go after the sand people's warrior, but leave the innocent women and children alone. E. Try reasoning with the sand people. You don't want this to happen to anyone else. Question 8. Your master is slain by your enemy in front of you. Do you A. Disarm him but do not kill him, then take him to the authorities to answer for his crimes. B. Overpower him and end the battle quickly, you have other things to do. C. Flee, if your master fell, what chance do you have? D. Attack him with force push, then use your surroundings to your advantage. E. Defeat him but don't kill him right away, first he'll suffer for what he did to your master. Question 9. What is the state of your era? A. Peaceful B. Dangerous C. Balanced D. Conflicted Question 10. Where do you stand in your era? A. With the light side B. With the dark side C. With no one D. With the money Alright, that was the last question. Good job on finishing the quiz. Now just add up all the points from the questions and we'll find out which result you have in the Star Wars universe. Between 10 and 17, you got the New Republic era. The New Republic era took place between the years 5 to 25 ABY. During this era, the newly formed New Republic moves through the galaxy and liberates many planets including Coruscant. However, they are far from safe as there are many internal and external threats, as well as threats from previous Imperial leaders that they must now deal with. At this time, Luke Skywalker is now a Jedi Master and looks to begin the New Jedi Order. This era marks the end of the Galactic Civil War. This era concludes with the Yuzang Vong War. Between 18 and 25, you got the Rise of the Empire Era. The Rise of the Empire Era, also known as the Clone Wars Era or the Prequel Era, took place between 1000 to 0 BBY. This era is considered the Golden Age of the Republic. However, during this time, the Sith, who survived, would hide and plot against the Jedi until Darth Sidious would put into action his plans leading to the beginning of the Clone Wars. The end of the Clone Wars would lead to the rise of the Empire, the Great Jedi Purge, and the fall of Anakin Skywalker. This era concluded with the Battle of Toprawa. Between 26 and 34, you got the Rebellion Era. The Rebellion Era, also known as the Classic Era, took place between the years 0 to 5 ABY. In this short era, the Rebel Alliance is formed in opposition to the Empire, leading to the Galactic Civil War. This era has many important battles that center around Luke Skywalker and his quest to become a Jedi Knight and overthrow Darth Vader in the Empire. This era concludes with the defeat of the Emperor during the Battle of Endor and the formation of the New Republic by the Rebel Alliance. Between 35 and 45, you got the Old Republic Era. The Old Republic Era, also known as the Sith Era, took place between the years 25,000 to 1,000 BBY. This era sees the exploration of the Jedi Order, the Sith, and the beginning of the Galactic Republic. Throughout the Old Republic Era, there would be many different Sith Empires coming to power until the Seventh Battle of Rusin, when the Brotherhood of Darkness is defeated. 
This would lead to the Rusin Reformation, which was the restructuring of the Galactic Republic and the handing over of power to the Galactic Senate. Between 46 and 54, you got the Before the Republic era. The Before the Republic era took place between the years 37,000 to 25,000 BBY. This era sees the examination of the Force on the planet Tython, as well as delves into the beginning of the Jedi Order. This era is ruled by the Rakatan Infinite Empire, the first known galactic government who uses dark force powers to fuel their technology and knowledge to enslave other species. During this era, space travel was extremely limited. Between 55 and 62, you got the Legacy Era. The Legacy Era takes place between the years 37 and 139 ABY. During this era, the Second Galactic Civil War takes place, breaking alliances from previous wars. In the meantime, Jason Solo falls to the dark side, becoming a Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Cadus. He eventually brings peace among the galaxy by unifying everyone against himself. After his death, the Alliance splits up once again, and a new Sith Order and new Galactic Empire come to dominate the galaxy. Between 63 and 70, you got the New Jedi Order era. The New Jedi Order era takes place between the years 25 to 37 ABY. During this era, the galaxy is invaded by the Yuuzhan Vong, an extragalactic species who destroyed whole planets and killed many. In the end, the remains of the Republic and other leading factions in the galaxy combine to form the Galactic Federation of Free Alliances, who together are victorious. Unfortunately, they are faced with another threat, the Killic Civilization under Darkness, which leads to disaster within the Alliance. This era concludes with the preliminary events of the Second Galactic Civil War. Interested in finding out more about who you'd be in the Star Wars universe? Check out my other quizzes. Anyways, I hope you had fun completing the quiz. So which one did you get? Let me know down below in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come. I hope to see you all again in Leia's Lair.